Well, here we are. We'll be taking off from here, flying southeast to a waypoint. Then we'll be flying across Ypres to our destination, and then hopefully back home again. Um, and there are only two of us. Let's have a look at our plane. We have been fitted with bombs. We've got two 20 pounders. Only two. Uh, well, let's stick with two, since that's what the uh, game has given me. Uh, what scarf shall we have today? Let's go for... I'm feeling scared, so let's go for a yellow scarf with a green streamer. Great. Okay, well, let's start. <coughs> Uh, there we go. There's Don. Hi, Don. There's my streamer. Let's start this baby up. Where's my scarf? I should have a yellow scarf. Maybe it's because I'm not moving it. Oh, there it is. I see it. It was hidden by the jacket. Okay. Don is starting his up his, his uh, engine. Can we get a look at Don? Let's see if we can see him. He's got a lovely moustache. Let's hope he doesn't die. Oh, he's taking off. Okay. Okay, Don is away, so let's follow him. And I've forgotten to change the map uh, difficulty setting, I've just remembered. So we'll be able to see ourselves as a blue icon on the map in the bottom right hand corner. <coughs> Must try to remember to switch that off next time. If you follow me on Twitter, um, you may have read that I experienced a bad neck. I hurt my neck getting up in the morning. Um, I don't know how it happened. I don't think the neck was injured before I got up because I remember I kind of woke up for five minutes, about half an hour before I actually got up properly. But then I had a snooze and when I wake up, woke up half an hour later, uh, my neck hurt and I couldn't really look left or right. But it's all better now, so I'm happy moving left, right, up and down. And do this, and do this, and this. And my streamer is the culprit, I've been told, regarding the wibbly shadow textures. It doesn't like it. You see the, the wibbles there wibbling across my windshield. Right, uh, also another thing to keep in mind is my engine, because on the last few missions it has stopped working, and someone else pointed out that when you play with the simplified dials, you get a red line um, on your RPM meter, above which you must or you, you should not cross because that means the engine is over revving. If the engine gets damaged, that red area grows larger and therefore if you use full throttle all the time, the engine is going to basically over rev. So I need to watch out for that. If I get shot or anything, I need to be careful with my engine settings. I don't know if there's any way you can tell if the engine is damaged just from the cockpit view. Perhaps not. Someone will know. Well, we're up and away. Let me just pop her on. Autopilots. There we go. The stupid thing about autopilot is whenever you engage it, it automatically cocks the guns. And that means I'm losing bullets. But never mind. Here I am. I've got the same face as Ron, I think. Ron, Don. 
Jesus Christ. I thought up a special name so I could remember the guy I'm flying with, and now I can't even remember that name. Well, I will cut here, I suppose. And wait to see what happens. My horrible feeling is that we will probably get intercepted by some massive group of fighters before we even reach our target, but who knows. And we're doing our up and down waggle dance again. Yep, so I'll cut here and I'll rejoin you shortly. Okay, just a quick update for you. We're still bobbing up and down like a couple of bobbing maniacs. Can't stop bobbing! Um, but we're getting closer to our target. We've crossed the lines now. This is all German occupied territory, Belgium I would guess. Not quite sure where the Belgium border is. I'm guessing it's probably around here somewhere. Um, this looks Belgian to me rather than French for example also this and this look Belgian anyway we're almost there so I just want to let you know we haven't been attacked yet we're passing over some village or other actually what's this called Staden you're passing over Staden or Staden oh and uh, by the way congratulations to the German people for becoming Weltmeisters. They are now Weltmeisters. World Masters of Soccer Ball. Congratulations to you, Germans. Um, yeah, so I'll come back when we reach our target, hopefully. Okay, I'll come back in now because we're almost there. The, um, Objective should be right in front of us. So far we haven't been spotted by anybody, which is good. Now, I'm not sure whether in the camel it drops two bombs at once or one, but I guess we'll soon find out. I don't even know what the artillery looks like in this game. Never bombed artillery before. I have done bombing, a lot of bombing in fact, on multiplayer. That's what I usually play as on the maps where there's like a campaign anyway, or an objective, rather than the dogfight maps. Um, now, I'm assuming my colleague here is going to bomb from height, whereas I generally come in low it's very difficult to judge when to release your bombs. Let's see who releases bombs. Oh, okay, he's diving. Well, here we go. Where are you going, Don? What was that? That was flak, I think. Is the artillery here? Where is it? I don't know what I'm supposed to be attacking. I see he dropped his bombs. Oh god. Uh, I think he has. He's flying away. Well, I'm going to need to try and find his target and bomb it. Let me just check. Hold on. No, he hasn't dropped his bombs. Okay, fair enough. Where have you gone? He's back behind me right now. Okay. Do a quick turn. There he is. I'm hoping he knows what we're supposed to be bombing and where it is. Because I don't. Trying to see if I can. Is it down here on my right somewhere? Don, help! 
don't know what to bomb. It should be directly below us right now. Something shooting at us, that would probably be where they are. Uh, okay, there's anti-aircraft fire coming from that field. Is Dom... Is Dom? Don. Dom still has not dropped his bombs. This is a shit sack. What am I doing here? There's Don again. Okay. He looks like he could be going for a bombing room now. He's quite close to the ground. Or oh, he's doing some crop spaying. You go ahead, Don. I'll follow you. What, are they in that forest? Christ. Uh... Well, there's a lot of anti-aircraft fire coming from that field, so... I'm guessing there's something over there. I don't know what my AI friend is doing, though. Maybe if I can get close enough, I can shout. Don! Don, what are we doing? Where's the target? Whoa, don't fly into me. Where'd he go? It's down there. This is terrible. I need to find something to bomb. Don't quite get this. <laughs> uh, well, okay. My best lead at the moment is that field where all the anti-aircraft fire is coming from. Don still has his bombs. There's also an airfield here, which we could just bomb for no good reason. I don't think there are any planes outside. Yeah, I can't see any parked planes. Heading back towards the supposed target again, it looks like. Maybe Don's as confused as I am. But he's an AI, he's not supposed to be confused. Right, so the target should be directly in front of us right now. Where's Don gone? Oh. Well, you know what? I'm heading towards this field to see what I can see. There's some... S There's some shit in the water here. Somebody's firing from the riverbank. There's a man! Oh, God! There's a man sitting in the river <laughs> with a machine gun. Aha! No, that's artillery. It's just... They've got artillery in the river. Okay, I thought there was like, like barges or floats or something. Okay, let's watch the engine here because we have been shot a few times. At least now I know what I'm supposed to be bombing. They've got guns in the river. I guess it's good camouflage. What's that up there? I don't know. I'm going to ignore it. Okay, then here we go. Try and get some height so we can do a bit of a dive on these... Guns. Where are they? There they are. Okay, here we go. Am 
Might as well shoot them a bit for no reason. Bombs away! Did we hit anything? I don't know. We've still got... Okay, we've still got one left. We've got another chance. There's lots of anti-aircraft over there. But I guess that's normal for artillery targets. Okay. I'm a bit higher up now, so I've got a better idea of where I'm supposed to be aiming. Here we go. This is my final bomb, gotta make it count. Bombs away! It exploded. It exploded in the water. I don't know if that affects the damage of the bomb, but um, I guess we'll find out if we got any targets when we get back to base. I don't know where Don's gone, so I'm going to head home. That's crazy. Who'd put artillery in the river? Let me see if I can... Uh... Well, this is Don. He looks like he's just given up and flying home. Maybe he was confused about the river camouflage. Uh, okay, so let's lower the RPM just in case the engine decides to die. And head home. Guess it's lucky you haven't been spotted by any enemy aircraft yet. Oh god, look at my wing. It looks a bit damaged. Let's take a look. Oh no, it looks fine from the outside. Oh, that's not me, that's why. This is me, yeah. That wing's got a few holes in it. And I've got a broken strut. I'm strutting my stuff. Well. Okay, I'm going to skip here. As I continue my journey homeward. And we'll let you know of any... Uh, interesting developments. Forthwith. Well, I am now crossing the lines. I appear to have made it home. And for the first time in a very long time, I'm going to have the chance to land at my own airfield. Uh, Don is still... Don has uh, already crossed the lines, it seems. Without having dropped either of his bombs, a stupid idiot. Whereas I have. Though to what effect, I do not know. Um, I'm heading directly for my airfield. Let's see if I can spot it over here. Maybe a bit too far away yet. Let's turn off the level autopilot and uh, lose a bit of altitude. May as well. Let me see if there's no, no German aircraft in the area. Can't find any with the spectator key, so that's good. This is the first time I've actually landed at this airfield. I thought this mission was going to be very difficult or um, possibly fatal. Well, actually, it's not turned out to be too bad in terms of my damage. Wings got a little bit of damage. The engine may have been damaged, I do not know. It's not displayed any signs of that. And we've uh, encountered no hostile aircraft, which is a bonus. Especially since there are only two of us. And one of those pilots was Don. Who I...
do not respect as a as a bomb as a bomb pilot or a bomber certainly. Maybe he's just not suited to that role. I think he needs to take a step back, look at his career. Maybe he needs to uh, move on, try something else. Um, let's speed things up a little bit. So now the game's going to go silent, and my voice will now seem very loud to me because I've had the engine in my ears for about half an hour. Don't crash the plane. Do, 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 do. That should be my theme song. Don't crash the plane. Do, 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 do. Here is the airfield. Now you can land. Okay, this is it. Now then, can I determine the wind direction by looking at the sock? The wind sock. There is a town in Britain, if you're not from Britain, um, and it is called Loughborough. And in Loughborough, there's not, well, first of all, there's not very much in Loughborough. I've never been, so maybe I'm being unkind. But one of the most famous monuments in Loughborough is a statue called the Man Putting on a Sock, or the Sock, or something like that. And it is basically a statue of a man putting on a sock. Just thought I'd share that with you. Um, let's see here. Now the wind direction was blowing this away, so I think this is a good direction to land in, I would assume. Let's blip it. Uh, we're a bit off with the wind direction actually, but never mind. I'm sure we'll survive. A uh, bit of a bump there. And we're. Whoa, 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 whoa! Yep, the wind. That was the wind. The wind caught my wings. But we have made it for the first time in what seems like months. Certainly months in game time more likely weeks in real lifetime. I always misjudge the sock direction. Don't know why I do that. Anyway, I'm going to taxi in. Because I'm lazy, I don't like to walk. I want to go straight from the plane into the mess. Have a scotch! I think that's what fishing and chip would drink. A robust scotch. And there we are. We're alive! We're not injured. Our plane is only slightly damaged. We may have bombed something. Don is above us. Waiting to land, it appears. Is that our airfield? I don't know. I can't hear him. Have I landed at the wrong airfield? I don't think so. Well, whatever. Uh, let's finish the flight. Now this screen I suppose will tell us if you've got any... Um, okay, we apparently destroyed nothing. I think that's unfair. It's not my fault the enemy decided to, to uh, hide their artillery in a river, which uh, therefore dampened the effects of our explosives. I'm, I, want, I don't know if I can claim for ground kills in the campaign generator. I guess we'll find out. So um, I'll stop here and I'll switch back to the campaign generator now. Well, hello. Uh, I did try and uh, record this debrief section just now, but it doesn't appear to have recorded through Fraps. So let's try again. Um, can we start the debrief again? No. Stop. De okay, good. Okay, so this is what happened basically. We took off, flew around. I was damaged by a light machine gun. Then we flew back again and landed. And that's it. Um, no, no kills. We didn't get an option to claim the victory. 
in terms of getting a ground kill, which I suppose makes sense. Um, and I'm assuming the bombs I dropped in the river um, weren't on target, or maybe because they dropped in the river, it reduced the kind of splash damage, so to speak, of the bomb, um, which prevented it from damaging the um, guns nearby, because I think I did get a fairly good um, shot at, so certainly the second bomb seemed to be on target, but there you go. Um, I guess that's why the Germans are Belgemeisters. They know to hide their artillery in rivers. Well, let's hope we have more luck next time. So um, thanks for joining me and I'll see you again um, probably in a couple of days. Goodbye.